What's up guys? Uh, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to cut and divide shapes in Adobe Illustrator. This is kind of a demo for a larger series that I want to do, an intro series for both Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to quit talking and get right into it. All right, so as we enter Illustrator, I have two panels up. Uh, I have the Pathfinder panel and the extended version of the Scissors panel. So if you come to Scissors and drag that out, drag it over here, and to find the Pathfinder panel, it's up in Window. Go down to P, Pathfinder. Um, or you can hit the shortcut, Shift Command F9. And uh, so let's get started. I'll show you the Pathfinder panel first. And this works by selecting two intersecting objects and go into each one of these panels and each has a separate result. The best way to learn it is just go and click through each one and see its result. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Each panel has a little description um, of what it does. So just the best way to learn is just go through, click every one and see the result, play around with it, and you'll figure it out in no time. So I'm going to Command Z, Again, yeah, like this one, what's this? Mine is back. Guess what it does? It subtracts it back. Anyways, um, on to the next one. Hit V. Let's select a circle. Uh, and I'm going to show you the scissors tool to start. Shortcut is C. And the scissor tool works by um, clicking on two parts of the path or two anchor points. Um, so now I set a line straight down the middle and I hit delete and delete again. Uh, now I have half a circle. So to rejoin, if I want the stroke back right here, I just hit Command J and boom. So let's move on to the next one, which is the eraser tool. Um, to bring up its parameters, you can double click it and you get this panel. Uh, these is the, this is the standard setup that it comes with, but you can also increase the size, change the roundness, change the angle, uh, mess with some different things, pressure, randomization, um, just a couple different things, but uh, I'm just gonna reset it and show you how it works. It works like an eraser would. If you Everywhere you drag through, it cuts out that piece. Um, pretty simple, pretty effective. Uh, so just play with it. You're gonna hang up it pretty quick. I'll Command Z all of those, and I'll show you the next tool. The next tool is the knife tool. I prefer to use this tool a lot when cutting, doing my custom cuts. And it basically you click and draw, and it will set, uh, and it will divide up the shapes for each part that you draw through. So if you hit A, select this, bring it over here. Um, Etc. So uh, you can also get more precise with it if you hold down Shift and Option. You'll get straight lines or 45 degree angles, and um, if you hold down just Option, you'll get straight lines in whichever way you drag uh, you drag out. So uh, enough of that. I'm going to show you how to divide the text. So um, I'll hit V, select the text, and what you're going to first need to do is go up to Type and Create Outlines. So now this shape has been changed from live text into individual shapes. Um, so I'll bring out the layers panel. You can bring up the layers panel pretty fast by just hitting F7. F7 is the shortcut for that. Uh, let's see what's up. This is already grouped. So I'm going to create a new layers panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to the knife tool. I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to drag a line through the text. Now I'm going to hit A, drag a box, and select just the bottom part. I'm going to go into the text group and I'm going to hold down command and select each one of the uh, bottom layers. You can tell what is selected because it has these red boxes on the side. I'm going to drag this up into the layers panel on top. I'm going to hit A. I'm going to select the whole group. And now, I mean, I'm going to hit V. I'm going to select the whole, have the whole group selected. And now, I think if I move around with just the arrow keys, I can get the slidey. Um, divergent text that you saw on all those uh, billboards and banners a couple months ago. So it's pretty simple. I hope that gets you started. Uh, let me know what you think. This is kind of a demo. Let me know other tutorials that you might be interested in learning about. Um, and until next time, guys, uh, later.